Welcome to Rock Your Talk. I'm Lisa Reed, host of Rock Your Talk and founder of Get Speaking Gigs Now. Today, I'm super excited because we have Gloria Grace Rand here with us, and she's this amazing human being, and she's going to share some of her magic with us. Hello, Gloria Grace. Hello, Lisa. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. And I, and you're going to be talking about engaging your audience using authentic yeah. energy really you know like being authentic how do you do that authentically so I'm excited yes. to hear your tips for us and um, if you are a regular listener of our show you know I always give out a couple of free gifts at the beginning uh, first gift is if you're a speaker who is looking to get on more stages make a bigger impact maybe attract your clients through speaking market your business through speaking you are in a really good place because at getspeakinggigsnow.com you can get a couple of gifts you can get Five top tips to get more speaking gigs, just available for you right there. You can also, if you're thinking, you know, I really need to kick it up a notch. I really need to figure out how I'm going to get out there. What am I going to do for this speaking thing? How am I going to get on those stages? I have a great talk, but I, no one's hearing it. Then book a speaker strategy session with me. And that's at getspeakinggigsnow.com as well. So those are a couple of gifts that you have. Now, different approach, maybe different thing that you're looking for. Maybe you know all the things you're supposed to do, but you're not doing it. And you realize that maybe you need some support in that. Then you can go to, oh, there's a little dog. <laughs> we were just talking about dogs the other day. Uh, just a second ago. It's okay. It's okay. Dogs are available. Dogs are, are always welcome on the show. Um, but you can go to productivelearning.com slash gift. And there you will find free access to a course called New Thinking for new actions. And this is again, where it's like, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm supposed to do, but I'm I see myself not doing it. Go ahead and get that free course. And then that'll really give you some uh, nice juice and knowledge and some exercises that'll help you start to create those new thoughts so that you can have those new actions so that you can get those results that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Again, that's at productivelearning.com slash gift. So already off the bat, you're starting off, starting off great because you've got some, some free gifts coming your way. So I want to uh, definitely turn this over to Gloria Grace here. And before we, before you share your really cool tips, tell, I mean, I already know a little bit, but share with the audience <laughs> what your magic is that you put out into the world. Well, well um, that, I love that question. <laughs> First off, that's pretty cool. Well, what my magic is, is that I really help um, my clients to be able to really get in touch with what's unique about them. And then I help them to then be able to demonstrate that so that they can attract the kind of clients that they want to work with. So that can be everything from um, actually even coaching them and, and doing some mindset work and, and things like that to practical marketing strategies and coming up with the right kind of content for their website and, and maybe even, um, blog articles or, or social media posts, but things that are going to help them. I really, one of the things that I'm, I'm very proud of is that my clients are like to say that I'm really good at being able to tap into their voice and that I can actually translate on that onto the page. So, um, you know, like I said, I enjoy doing that type of work and I, but I also really, um, we were talking before we got started today that I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to do more deeper work with clients because I think, feel that um, you can have the best marketing strategies, you can have the best looking website, even with the best content on it, seemingly. And still, if you, and you probably know this yourself in working with clients, if your mindset is not there where you're maybe still feeling unsure of yourself or you've got some money blocks or something, then you're not going to be as successful as you want to be. And I have learned a lot of lessons, some of them the hard way <laughs> on how to be able to, um, you know, change those beliefs myself that I really uh, enjoy working with others now and helping them along those lines. It uh, sounds so like they can be more successful. Yeah, it sounds like with it when someone works with you, they get almost like a bonus coach because <laughs> you have had so much experience in copywriting and the business side of the strategy and the marketing side. But as you you're, you're finding your own, you know, deeper gift is really helping more with the internal mm -hmm. and understanding what how that voice is. But then what's great is that that doesn't mean that all the knowledge and the expertise that you have in the past isn't going to 
come in when appropriate or go, hey, why don't we take this voice and now put it into your marketing if that's appropriate, depending on who you're working with. Yeah, so it's kind of like a bonus, like you could almost get like two in one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and I mean, I used to do this just, it was just sort of natural in working with clients in the past. They would come to me and, you know, I'd be helping them set up their website or coming up with a newsletter uh, <laughs> format for them. And, and then they were like, oh, I'm not sure if I'm doing it. And then I, you know, I don't know if I'm reaching the right clients. And then I start kind of coaching them unofficially, but now I, I want to be official. able to do it more officially. <laughs> That's great. I love it. All right. So that, then that makes sense, right? Then of why you are helping us with understanding how to engage with your clients authentically, or just engage with people. Like how are you attracting people? So you have three tips you were going to share with us. What is your first I, tip? On I that? do. Yes, I do. Yes. Yeah. So tip number one is, and again, coming from a so-called marketing person, this is going to see, sure. seem a little strange possibly, but it's to let go and let God, mm -hmm. <laughs> believe it or not. So, but what I mean by that is to really, uh, to let go of these limiting beliefs that you have. Mostly the real popular one is this, I'm not enough story. That's so oh, yeah, I'm a member of that, yeah. of that organization. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's about letting go of that and just really letting, letting God speak through you. And, and, and so it's, it's about opening your heart and, and trusting your instincts and trusting your intuition and also letting go of the idea that you have to please everyone mm -hmm. as well, because you're not going to be able to please everyone. Now, that's not to say that you have to, to yeah, absolutely <laughs> have to have a particular really niche audience, but um, you do should have a somewhat of an idea of who it is that you want to work with and then speak to them, you know, really just focus in on speaking to them from the heart and as if they were your best friend and, and, you know, what is it that you provide that is going to help them. And so let that be your guide and being able to uh, decide what, what you put out on like social media or what you're putting out if you're writing a blog post or you're doing a video or you're speaking uh, to, to an audience, you know, um, like you're even doing here, a YouTube video or doing Zoom since we're not really doing in person right now, but we will one day. Mm -hmm. uh, so keep that in mind. Yeah. And just um, trust that. I feel like a lot of speakers could relate to that message because a lot of times when I'm working with someone and I'll help them like get their talk ready to rock. That's, that's a thing that I, that I'll help them with. And sometimes they can fall into a trap of like, well, I want to make sure that this fits everyone or it's general enough. Or what if, what if they ask me to speak on this? And I say, at one point you need to know what lane you're in. Otherwise you'll just be recreating talks all day long. And right. you, it, you know, of course this is going to depend. It's not a hard and fast rule, but it's a good rule of thumb to know what you're really good at, what you really enjoy and what your message really is. Instead of yeah. trying to be so flexible that you're just swaying in the wind or you're so general that it sounds boring. Yeah, absolutely. You know? And it's like, it's gotta sound, um, I'll, I'll say sexy, like, and I don't mean <laughs> sexual, I just mean attractive, like what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's gotta entice the audience member to go, oh, I really could benefit from that talk. I really want to hear what that person has to say because I need that or I, mm -hmm. I'm dealing with that. I want solutions. Yeah, so it doesn't exactly. need to be another thing. I'll hear, I'll hear um, people kind of go a little too esoteric where I see the talk title and I'm like, I don't know what that is. Like, <laughs> I don't even know what, I don't know enough to know what you're talking about. So I don't know if I want to go. I don't know if I, you know, mm -hmm. so, so there's this, uh, balance, I guess, of being yeah, creative exactly. and also being direct. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sometimes it's still good to just keep it simple. <laughs> keep yeah. it simple so that people understand what, but what I, it is you're I, trying to say. To wrap, to bring it back to what you were saying, it's like at one point letting go of what other people are going to think or mm -hmm. who's going to like the talk. And I think that's a big self-doubt Mm -hmm. thought that will yeah. come come into play especially for speakers as, and that keeps them from putting that message out there and even trying it's like well what if they don't like this is a, a totally mm -hmm. internal like secret quiet mm -hmm. voice right what yeah. if one wants to hear what I have to say what if it's not good what if what if I offend someone what if what if what if what if mm -hmm. um 
and then it just stays locked in, you know, behind closed doors. And you're like, well, we don't know any of the answers to those questions until we get out there and we try. And like, you're not needing to please everyone, nor could right. you. Yeah. And I like, as a, and again, I'm kind of bringing this to speakers, but like you're out there, you're not going to win the whole audience, but who are you looking for? You're probably looking for a, a couple people or a certain percentage mm -hmm. of people, a few people in the audience who really resonate with who you are, which is what you're saying. Like, yeah, who is your, what's your soul saying? And who is it attracting? Right. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Didn't say that, but that's, I was sort of just reading between the lines. <laughs> <laughs> It works. It works. Absolutely. And, and, and really uh, what you were talking about actually sort of leads me to my next tip. So if oh. I could, I don't know if it's okay. Oh, yeah, let's share do it. Tip number two. Yes, tip number two. Um, it's valuing your uniqueness. Mm. So it's really learning to appreciate what your um, particular talents and gifts are, as well as some of the challenges that you may have faced in the past and overcome, because these are that's the story that's going to attract your people because it's going to make you seem relatable. So um, for instance, in my case, I grew up with an alcoholic dad and abusive mom. And so as a result, I really, I, I was afraid a lot of the time growing up and I didn't really like to be in the spotlight, didn't want to, to share and to, uh, to stand out. Uh, but there was part of me that always wanted to. And and eventually I had to, I learned to be able to overcome that. And so being able to share, you know, some of your um, problems that you've had, some of the, like I said, some of the challenges you may have had in your business, that lets people see that you're human, number one. And when you can also acknowledge that some of the things that you're really good at is so important because a, a friend of mine was telling me this the other day that if, you know, God wouldn't have given you all of these great talents and abilities if then he just expected you to hide <laughs> and to not, you know, and not talk about them. Because a lot of times as women, you know, we're especially, we're brought up to not brag about ourselves. But well, if you don't brag about yourself, who the heck is? So you've got to, you know, you don't want to be mean about it or, or really, you know, over the top, but you can certainly, it's allowed to toot your horn once in a while. Um, so again, that people can see uh, what you have to offer that is going to be valuable to them. A hundred percent. And I, I so agree with that, that uh, yeah, a lot of times as, <laughs> as girls were brought up to, it's just a social thing, socially acceptable mm -hmm. to let the boys show off and be yeah. loud and crazy. And we're, we're just a, more agreeable and compromising right. and a, yeah. appeasing or whatever. And yeah, so it's kind of like finding that voice and saying what you need to say and mm -hmm. standing up for whatever you need to stand up for and sharing your successes. And I'll have to consider it maybe celebrating is I'm trying to think of a word that's like we, we say bragging or boasting, but it's like sharing your who you are sharing what you've achieved, sharing what you've accomplished mm -hmm. and, and celebrating that in a way that feels, you know, really uh, comes from a place of accomplishment and mm -hmm. pride and fulfillment. And I, I'm not sure if there's an actual word, I'll have to think on that, if there's an actual word that really encompasses what I'm having in my mind as that mm -hmm. verb, you yeah. know, <laughs> like what yeah, is that exactly. verb? Yeah, well, I, I think I think celebrate is pretty good. Um, I mean, there's probably maybe one one tone down from celebrate. Yeah, that's but, what I was like. It's just right in between. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, well, that's interesting. We'll that. yeah, I'll have to think about that as well. But I, I think it is. It's just, um, you know, what <laughs> what came to mind is like make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Oh, I so love it's, that. So, yeah. so it really is. Yeah, just make a joyful noise and say, you know, hey, you know. Yeah, it's here I am. Just, this is yeah, this is me. And oh yeah, there's that great song from uh, uh what was it, Barnum, you know, this is yes, me. Yes, yes. You know, take it, take it. This is who I am, and 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 that's that's all that matters, really. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I think that again with whether you're a business owner who's a speaker or not a speaker, that voice can come through in your words or your uh your how you know, you're at a networking meeting or you're at, you know, somewhere speaking and mm -hmm. people get to see who you are. I love that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, what's your third tip? All right. So number three is there we go. Well, here we go. My Girl Scout in me <laughs> um, is to actually embrace your divinity. And what I mean by that is, well, I this is my belief anyway, is that I believe that um, you know we're created in God's image, and and to embrace that and and. I believe it's really about showing yourself some love because mm. God is love and so are you. And as my, my mother used to say, uh, God didn't make junk. So that uh. means you're not junk either. You know, you are absolutely worthy. You are deserving of success and treat yourself kindly and recognize not all, and, and not only recognize that you are God, but that everyone else is too. Mm. And so it comes down to, uh, you know, that what is it, the golden rule, treat everyone as if, as, you know, how you want them to treat yourself, and, and maybe even a little bit of Zig Ziglar, you know, the more you do for someone else, then the more you're going to benefit as, as a result of that, I forget the exact quote, but, but you know what I mean, so it's, 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 yeah, it's just really treating yourself with love, and also um, treating others that way as well, and I think that will, um, if you, that's how you treat everything in your life and in your business. I think it's going to, it should be a lot easier to just be able to naturally engage authentically with people because you're, you're treating them, you know, treat someone as your, um, you know, as your best friend. Mm -hmm. And uh, then that's going to come back to you. And I love that. Yeah, we're, we have a similar way of, uh, it, we have different words that we describe it, but how I describe it is um that we're all connected like we all have this higher you know we're all consciously connected or mm -hmm. connected consciousness yep. and each person has been given a gift to share with the world we don't right. know you may or may not know what your gift is yet <laughs> mm -hmm. that's true <laughs> sometimes you have many gifts to share yeah. it just depends but if you're not sharing that gift or giving that gift out to the beyond yourself, mm -hmm. uh, then it's not raised necessarily raising the consciousness of all of us. And so, to, yeah. so I actually, I said, stated in the negative, but it's really more in the positive of like, mm -hmm. share your gifts so that we raise our consciousness as a, as a human race yeah, in a absolutely. way. Yeah. And that's like our next evolution, but it, you know, that's, I sort of think of it in that way, but it's, <laughs> along yeah. lines what you're saying just mm -hmm. be, be you and tap into that inner gift and sometimes it's been mm -hmm. hidden you know because of like you know you said trauma and and mm -hmm. bad experiences or experiences that you you know felt bad at the time I guess I should say yeah um and then now you get a chance to open that up and say like oh I've always dreamed of doing this or I've always mm -hmm. wanted to do that or hmm why do I think I can't do that and you start to recognize that maybe that story's not true anymore. Absolutely, yeah. And 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 things will different avenues of being able to use some of these gifts that maybe you didn't think you could use before will present themselves as well. Um, so I, again, I like for me personally, I'm finding I'm again I'm just I'm always uh, I love being able to grow and evolve, and I'm certainly doing a lot of that lately. And, and one thing I've always loved to do is to sing, and I've never been able to really figure out how to, you know, how I could work that into my business necessarily. Um, but lately, I've been doing something uh, that's called uh, light language, and I, yeah, I've just recently begun to channel that, and part of it comes out as singing. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to fit in. Uh, down the road, but it's uh, it's a lovely gift that I've been given, and and it's fun to, you know, discover different things. And I think that's that's one other thing that just as a bonus tip to throw in there is to just you know, be open to you know changes because um, and opportunities that come your way uh, because you never know where where it'll take you and where your life will lead. And it could be something really miraculous and awesome and uh, just be open to what happens. <laughs> yeah. Nowadays, anything goes like it. I, yeah. I never heard of that before. So I'm so interested to see how that evolves for you. And mm -hmm. I have uh, one of my clients sings and that's part of her. She's just like a living artist. You know, it's just, mm. she's, she's a poet. She's a body worker. She's a healer. She's an artist. She's a, yeah 
singer, a songwriter, mm-hmm. you know, la, 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 you know <laughs> yeah. just really, really creative. <laughs> and then I have um, another, another colleague of mine uh, also sings through her he- and does that through healing and mm-hmm. or heals through singing and, and yeah. like spiritual healing. So there's so many different ways that we can use, like don't, maybe don't realize what a tool our voice can be, mm-hmm. yeah. not just in words, but in mm-hmm. sounds. And yeah. I love what you said, just being like really open now more than ever. Wow. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. there's so much possible. So I'm excited to see how that evolves for you. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Cool <laughs> and I know you have a gift for our audience members. What, I, what is I your do? Gift? Yes, I do have, it's a, it's an infographic and it's a, how to uh, move from self-doubt to self-love and four simple steps. And because uh, all of this, what, what I was even sharing with you today, it's all about, it's all part of what I'm writing about in a, in a book that I, it is coming out, uh, hopefully we'll, and we'll be out by the time this airs oh, <laughs> officially, great. I know. So yes. um, yeah, and it's all, it's all based around love and that's oh, good. That's what makes the world. So how happen. to turn self-doubt into, into self-love. self-love. I love yep. that. That's great. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> well, I have one other question for you, Gloria Grace. I have no idea what you're going to say to this question. So I'm excited okay. to hear the answer, but <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, the show's called Rock Your Talk. So I always ask what, who is your favorite rock star or rock band of all time? Mm. Um. Well, I, you know, for, for sheer rock and roll, um, I got to go to a concert years ago to hear the Rolling Stones in person. Yes. And I, I was number one, I didn't realize how many Rolling Stones songs I actually knew until I was at the concert. Oh. And, I was like, and it was really good. I mean, I've always been a Billy Joel fan, but, uh, but I gotta say, I, well, although I do like Queen too, so I don't know. Well, yeah, there's all a, three great great yeah. <laughs> uh, performers all, or yeah. the whole, you know, that's yeah. pretty big, big time. Yeah. That's cool. You know, I saw Rolling Stones when I was in college, which now has been, you know, over a mm-hmm. very long time ago. Uh, <laughs> and they, you know, at that time it was, they was, it was already like they're, they'd yeah. already been in business for quite some time. So <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. exciting that they can, and Queen, I know still goes on performs and so does Billy Joel. So yeah. kudos to all three of those, um, organizations and singers mm-hmm. <laughs> they are still just making making amazing music for all of us yeah. to enjoy how cool yeah. well thanks for being on our show and remember to go to oh where do they go to get your oh, free gift that's right i forgot that they can go to my website then go to gloriarand.com forward slash claim hyphen gift okay and i'm going to put that in the notes too but just in case so gloriarand.com slash claim c-l-a-i-m hyphen g-i-f-t claim gift good okay cool so then you can get that there and then meanwhile while you're waiting for our next episode to come up make sure and subscribe here so that you can continue to get great excellent tips from all these really amazing people (laughs) that i get to get connected with all around the world and then you know what i'm going to say next make sure to be kind to yourself today and be kind to somebody else. You never know Mm -hmm. who needs your kindness. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much.